Oh, boys, here they come. They're here. This is the pass. This is the pass. <laughs> yeah. What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. And uh, today is going to be one huge, huge, brutal goose hunt. That's right. Today, uh, as we speak, we have northwest cold fronts that is just spilling into the region. And let me tell you what. It has brought a ton of north wind with it. This is the type of wind I'm talking about. Right now the wind is sustained at 24 mile an hour with gusts of 32. And uh, it is supposed to be increasing with rain starting in about two hours. And in three hours the temperature will feel like 13 degrees. Now the good thing is we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to sit on the back side of a tree row out of the wind. So that's going to help tremendously with just, you know, being cold. But this wind and cold should be smacking these birds in the face while they're sitting on the roost as we speak. They should be waking up this morning going, oh, oh, What happened, Bob? What happened? And they should be stupid hungry. This weather should just intrigue them to go into survival mode and give it up in the old decoys. Well, that's what we did. We, we, we have planned ahead. We have 10 guys going today, nine to 10 guys. We have like three trailers, and we're about to set one monster spread, fellas. I am bundled up. I got my ducks gear on. By the way, look at that. Oh boy, if you wanna pick that bad boy up, I'll link it in the description below. Enough talking, we gotta meet the boys at the field. Uh, it's about to be crazy. Uh, the wind's gonna be gnarly, and we have a ton of decoys to set, so. Let's see what this adventure brings us. Oh, we are in the field, <clears throat> and look at this. We got one trailer back there, one trailer right here, and then one trailer right here. Huh? Hey there, Michael. Good morning. We're crazy. <laughs> you, we are a little, little nutty in the head. <laughs> in a tree row today. It's not going to be too bad. We're actually out of the wind right here. We end up sitting the blinds right yonder, right, Chia. And the wind is howling, howling. We're sitting all three trailers. We, if we set all the dark, just full bodies alone, we should have, uh, I don't know, like 1,500 full bodies. So we're gonna set all, my all my dive bomb silos, a bunch of uh, lesser socks, dive bomb socks, and then a ton, and I mean an absolute ton, of full bodies. We're gonna get to cranking. We got like 10, 11 guys, so we have plenty of help on deck. We're gonna start cranking once we get this spread up and going here. I'll turn on the camera again. Oh, well, the boys just cracked open on two uh, two ducks and uh, downed them both. We just got done setting up, and the, the storm front, like I was saying earlier, is moving in on us right now. Right at shooting light, it's here. It's actually sleeting on us right now. Thank God it's not raining. There's It's really not rain. It's just straight sleet. We got extra thick cloud cover. This system is going to make the birds do it. Them ducks did it all the way. We actually parked uh, three trailers in a secondary field that they were feeding in yesterday. It's a mile mile west of us. We uh, we have three trucks and trailers in the field just to uh, kind of be a scarecrow and maybe it'll you know just keep them out of the field. Hopefully over there. But here's the spread. Since we have such a hard north wind, these birds should want to do it up against this tree row to get out of the wind to feed. And look at this right side. Look how thick it is. <laughs> Well, this is suddenly uh, turning into a we hope they make it to the field type of day because look at the weather already. It's literally been 15 minutes since I picked up the camera last and look at this weather. Look at it absolutely blowing. We already got snow on the ground. This is all ice and a mix of snow. Oh. Finally, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Better shoot him. Smokes, boys, it sound like a freaking go. firing line. Go. God, all I heard was Rah! that sounded bad, dude. Go. If that didn't wake you up, I don't know what did. Look at these two dogs working. Some dogs eating it up. Better shoot them. Oh, look, they're, they're both. Oh, who's gonna get it first? Boom! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They might be having a scuffle out back. 
Oh boys, here they come. They're here. Literally just was able to turn the GoPro on. That was it on that. We're out there brushing, brushing decoys, brushing the snow off. This is crazy. Oh, the snows are doing it, boys. Right, you can only get one yet, though. So, yeah, the snow is uh, really, really, really uh, taking a turn here. It's it's staying on the decoys. So we we've had to brush the decoys three times now just because the snow keeps accumulating on the back of these full bodies and on the side of the silos and the socks. Is that rolling? Yeah, buddy. Barely hit that guy. Woo! Don't Man, hit, hit, hit. them, them, them hit. shots are getting really hard to, to call. That's for sure. <laughs> Was that watching hit the ground? Ooh, a blue. Nice blue. Nice blue. Old Bradley getting the saucy pictures. Ooh. Look at that blue. Ooh, studly. Keep on They might just come back. Yeah, these uh, the birds, the wind's so hard that when they want to get out, they'll leave in a hurry. Nice shot! Hey, geese up front. Here. All right, let's get them, boys. Let's get them. If they square up, just bust them. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Another one down. Holy smokes, that was a lot of snows. They, uh, holy smokes. Yeah, that, that got crazy bad. quick. Absolutely insane. The birds are finally getting here. What time is it? Does anybody know? So it's, uh, so it's nine, nine o'clock on the money. And, uh, that was the first biggest wad we've had. So this weather has just slowed them way down from getting off the roost. And, uh, they're, they're going to be sitting in the field all day wherever they do end up. So. We're probably going to have quite a bit of hunt left here. Um, I mean, quite a bit. There's there's a lot of birds that were here yesterday. I I scouted this field and it had about 10,000, 15,000 in it. So there's a lot of birds to come once they do decide to get off that roost. Check that out. Look how warded that Ross is. Isn't that amazing? I've never seen a Ross that warded. That's an old, old, old bird. Man. How you feeling, Zilla? I'm a little cold, but doing some good stuff. I don't know why you'd be cold on a day like today. Yeah, I couldn't imagine why. It's pretty nice out. Check out the weather here. I want to show you guys how brutal it is right now. So this is Sunday. I'm sure all you Midwesterns are uh, experiencing this crazy cold front that we're getting right now. This is the second storm system, snow system, winter weather that we've had already this year, and it's not even out, out of uh, November yet. Last year we didn't have this one time, I don't think. It's about to be a really bad winter, I think. How you feeling, Rossi? Oh, you know, shooting some birds. You cold? Touch. Just a little? A touch. Not bad, it's though. It's not too bad behind the trees, but yeah. it's pretty, it's nipply out here for sure. You gonna give you a shout out to all your K-Staters or no? Oh, yeah, uh, go cats, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley, what are you doing? Getting the angles. You're all about them angles. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the saucy photos. A saucy, saucy photos for the boys. I told you in the shop when we opened this video, I was like, we got a system rolling in. It's gonna get bad. Uh, Miss Weathers locked the birds down on the water. They, they're not, they're not lifting. They're not getting up right now. It is literally way too brutal out. It is brutal, brutal. It's going on like 10, 10, 10, 15. Yeah, the conditions just keep getting worse and worse. The radars, there's still a huge blob of snow coming. They're saying uh, stronger winds. So before we all just croak over dead, we probably better pick up. <laughs> we got the uh, trucks over here in the other field like I told you before. Man, it is just ice and snow. The roads are extremely slick. Look at how windy it is. Gee, many Christmas. Man, it's nice to be getting some weather like this, though. I'll tell you what, we needed it. <laughs> Everybody's just getting after it. They're already, already got a lot of it done. Goodness. Oh, it's so, I mean, it is so cold. Good hunt, though. Had a lot of fun with these guys. I can't see anything. My glasses are all iced up. I'm sure my stash is all iced up. But check out the pile uh, that the storm really came in and shut it down. But for the storm, we actually did pretty darn good. 33 total. Check it out. Three Rossies that are all adults. Those are pretty nice. Shot a couple blues. Really nice specs. Oh my goodness. Look at the weather. It's picked up even more. Look at that, can barely even see them. They're only 50 yards off the road and you can barely see them. Yeah, there's a lot of blue geese. A lot of blue, look at that. But look at this. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, buddy. It was a rough one. Yeah, it was cold, windy, blizzard. Yeah. It was worth it though. We all had a blast. Uh, there was what two different groups. Our group, uh, our trailer, plus Ross brought his trailer, plus Kyle brought his whole clan and their trailer. So 
we ended up not sitting out all the full bodies. We didn't set up uh, all of our snow full bodies. We set up all of our dark. They set up all of their dark. I did set out most of my silos and all my Canada socks. So the spread was absolutely massive. It's just when them birds came, we were on the back side of the wind. So it's a hard north wind. We were facing south on the south side of the tree row. And usually it works great, and it did. But what happened was you could tell when they get out of that hard wind, they almost would drop. You know, they're, they're just floating, and then they get out of that hard wind, and they drop. And they kind of freak out and want to stay up, you know, kind of tree height, treetop height up in that wind. And uh, there, was a, there was a couple, two or three really big groups that we got to go on. But uh, we shot a lot of doubles and singles. Actually got into the ducks. Ducks came. I didn't see any ducks there yesterday. So that was a bonus. But the big deal, the trophy, the prize possession of today was two things. We shot two or to three really, really, really huge, I mean massive adult snows and uh, I think two to three adult Rossies. So if you don't know what Rosses are compared to regular snow geese, just go to Google, type it in, and it'll show you the difference. Rossies have a real short beak on them. And the one uh, that was all warded up that I showed you, that's kind of my prized possession of the day, that warded up Rossi. That is an old, old, old bird. A lot of people like shooting the Rossies. They really fly like ducks. They're a lot smaller and easy, easier to kill. <sighs> Oh my goodness, your boy is worn out. What a hunt that was. I mean, I'm back at home here in the man cave and I feel like I just ran a marathon. The thing was, is it wasn't bad sitting on the south side of that tree row. What was bad is to the left, on the left side of the decoy spread, the wind was just cutting right next to that tree row uh, because we were basically at the end of it. So at the end, that wind, oh man, all them full bodies that we sat out there, I had to, uh, we had to go over there and pick them up once it set in. And let me tell you what, the avian bags, all my guys out there that have full body avians, um, the bags are very, very flimsy. So in that high wind, it's a two man job. I've showed you guys that before, but I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. It was very, it was a struggle filming. One, due to uh, the batteries not surviving very well in that cold weather. And then two, just the amount of snow and wind the sound, you know, that, that's hard not to uh, let the wind just blow out your audio. And then for three, just how much snow on the lens and everything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I wish I would have been able to film more of this hunt. I think it could have told a little better story for you all. But I hope you guys uh, do understand that I opened it up saying, we have a front coming, fellas, and we have birds that have been stale. And this is going to switch that around. So that aspect is what I really want to get across to you guys is we were on a two-week warm spell of nothing but bluebird skies, 50 and 60 degree weather with no wind. And when this hit, those birds went from being stale, adults, and just ornery little suckers that didn't ever want to play in the spread to just being downright dumb. We actually killed the adult snows today. Rossi, snows, and blues. You know how hard it is to kill adult snow geese? It is hard. It's a struggle. A lot of you guys out there that snow goose hunt know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm very proud that we were able to uh, decoy uh, some decent groups of these adult snows. And we shot, uh, total we shot 34 birds and uh, it was a good shoot. We had a lot of doubles and single uh, ducks, and uh, it was just a bonus. But if you guys like this, drop me a big old thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about this video, drop them down below. And if you have any suggestions for videos that you guys want to see in the future or soon, drop them down below and let me know. I would appreciate it if you go over to the Ducks Waterfowl website. If you've never been there, we have beanies and hoodies and all kinds of waterfowl hunting gear that y'all will just love. So go check it out. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys being here every time. Honestly, I appreciate y'all so much for being here and supporting me every single video that I upload. Thank you. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good one. Stay warm. Peace.